Good morning traders. In uh, today's Renko day trading video, <clears throat> we will be taking a look at the uh, Kiwi dollar uh, price chart. Um, this is a follow-up actually from uh, the weekly uh, the weekly analysis that was published. Here as I mentioned and as you can see on the chart, um, the trade recommendation was uh, to look for a sell on the rally somewhere towards uh, 0 0.712 and uh, target the uh, downside towards uh, 0 0.7 or 7, 7.712. Um, what we have here is uh, price moving in a downtrend. You, we see that uh, after constructing the median line, you had uh, a price breakout which did not retest the breakout region near 0 0.721 and 0 0.72 but instead price has been declining in a steady downtrend. Now what's happening right here is uh, we have a potential for a uh, uh, hidden bearish divergence. As you can see, you've got a higher high and a lower high right here, but uh, the stochastics is likely to print a higher high at uh, this point. So we do have a minor resistance level sitting between 0 0.715 and uh, 0 0.7146 so uh, we could expect a reversal to happen somewhere around this level um, in the longer term um, the decline to the downside should be coming in towards 0 0.7081 let me just uh, okay so 0 0.7081 is the downside target what we have here is a uh, downtrend that has been confirmed by the 50-20 moving averages and uh, if we get a reversal here we could expect a uh, continuation to the downside now uh, if we have a bearish reversal formed here towards uh, 7141 then that would be a confirmation to target the downside targeting maybe 0 0.7 1 and uh, 0 0.708. Once price uh, falls towards uh, 708, we could then expect a move back to the upside and uh, eventually targeting back to the uh, breakout level from the median line at uh, 0 0.721 and 0 0.720. Now uh, an interesting point to note here is that uh, if you if you recollect the equidistant uh, trading channel strategy. What we have here is a possible move to the downside. So as uh, outlined in the strategy, you identify the trend based on the moving averages and then plot a uh, uh, equidistant price channel in the same direction and wait for a counter trend move to the upside. So assuming that we do get a reversal here, then I would be connecting the equidistant channel to this high followed by the lower high and uh, you have the support here so let's call this a minor support level so you can expect price to interact with uh, 0 0.7121 sorry 0 0.7111 and uh, potentially move towards uh, 0 0.708. So I'm going to keep this equidistant channel as it is and uh, as long as price doesn't break out to the upside and we see a reversal here, we could expect a move here and I would be watching for a, a possible breakout from the equidistant channel near the 0 0.71 and 0 0.708 level. That would uh, potentially be giving me a counter trend move to the upside where I would be looking to target uh, 0 0.713 and eventually towards uh, 0 0.7201. So um, in conclusion, you've got the uh, Kiwi dollar um, trade setup right here. Price is in a downtrend. If we get to see a reversal near the current 0 0.715 uh, region, then that would indicate a continuation to the downside. I would be looking to sell on a bearish uh, rent code that would be formed here near 0 0.7141 targeting 0 0.711 and uh, 0 0.708
And once price falls to this level, well, watch for a breakout from the resistant channel targeting all the way back to 0 0.72. So this concludes this uh, short Grenco day trading video and I will check back with you guys later if there are any developments. Thank you and uh, have a good day.